Hi guys, it's Josephine here with Gym Raw, and we have a total body workout for you today. It's strength training with weights and some cardio bursts to really get that heart rate up and burn those extra calories. I'm gonna be using eight pound dumbbells today. You use what suits you best. If you need to go lower, go lower, higher, go higher. All right, let's get started with a warm up. Let's march in place. We're gonna warm up our body, then we're gonna get right into our workout. Are you ready? I am. All right, just warming up the body, activating the core, really move those arms. Good, now let's take it out to the side and make it a little wider. Whew. Slowly warming up, don't worry, the workout will be much more difficult. Now go in and out, in and out. Nice job, let's pick up the pace a little bit, a little faster, in and out. 10 more seconds here. I'm starting to warm up a little, are you? Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it side to side. Stretching out that inner thigh. Good, keep the chest up, core tight. Push through the heel and get low. Really getting a nice stretch in that inner thigh. That feels good, doesn't it? Nice. Warm up here. This is a dynamic warm up, which means we're stretching, warming up, and lubricating the joints with movement. We'll do static stretching at the end for the cool down. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's take it side to side. Good. Squeezing the back, squeezing the core. Always keep your core activated no matter what movement you're doing, whether it's the warm up, cool down. Core is always engaged. Whew. Squeezing the scapula back as you pull. I'm starting to warm up. Blood is pumping, heart is pumping. Woo! Let's go. It's all about bringing the energy. You do your best today and I'll do my best, right? Forget the rest. Woo! All right, let's bring it up and over. Reach, reach. Stre stretching out the side body here. Good. Reaching up, long fingertips, and pointing the toe side to side. Your body should be starting to warm up. It should start to feel a little harder to breathe. Woo, yes, last five. Four, bringing out in front of you in three, two, one. Good, twisting the torso, warming up the core, tapping side to side. Are you ready for an awesome full body workout today? You don't need a lot of time. All you need is a lot of energy in a short amount of time to burn those calories. You work really hard and then you can be done. That's what I like to do, time efficiency. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good, arm circles forward with a march. Lubricating the shoulder joint, good. Reaching long fingertips. Five, we take it backwards in four, three, two, one. Take it backwards, reach. Open up that chest. Woo! Your heart rate should be coming up. Should be feeling warm in the body. Warming up that core temperature. Last three, two, one. Let's warm up the chest. Open, close, yes. Open and close, good. Squeezing the scapula as you squeeze back. Long fingertips, opening the chest. Good, and marching. Keeping those legs working too, oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, and one. Give me some jumping jacks. Let's really get that heart rate up right now. Before we get into the meat of this workout today. Are you ready? Woo! Good, straight arms. I'm already starting to sweat. We haven't even gotten into the main event yet. Can you believe it? It's gonna be a tough workout today, but you can do it if you set your mind to it. Almost there. Going into a march in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, march it out. Catch your breath. Inhale through the nose, reach up, long fingertips, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Almost there, inhale, exhale. Last five, four, three, two, one. Are you warmed up and ready to go? Grab some water if you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one dumbbell. We're gonna do a reverse lunge to shoulder press. Compound movement goes like this. Reverse lunge, shoulder press up. Balance if you can for extra core stability. We're doing eight on each side. Here we go. One, whoo, two. You'll feel this in the abs as well. So really try to keep your balance. If this is too advanced, just tap like so. That's three, four, Ooh, back to the balance. Five, six, seven, and eight. Switch arms right into it. No time for breaks yet. Reverse lunge, shoulder press up. Balance, good. Two, really reaching. Three, these are called compound movements. They work the whole body, upper and lower body together. Five. Six, good, try to hold that balance, work on your core stability. Two more, seven, eight, great job. Put that weight down, take a quick break. Our next move is a side squat, staying on one side for eight reps with a bicep curl. Grab both weights, the move goes like this. Side squat, bicep, tap to center, stay on the same side. Here we go, eight each side, let's boogie. One, tap, two, get low in that squat, three, working biceps and legs together, four, five, make sure not to hold your breath, breathing, Whew. two more on this side, then we switch right into the other side, no breaks, last one, make it good, drop it like it's hot, drop it low, here we go, other side, one, two, your heart rate should be coming up. Three, when you're working the upper and lower body together, it's a lot more efficient. You burn more calories in a quicker amount of time. Oh yeah, six, oh yeah, seven, last one, eight, great job. Grab some water if you need it, towel off if you need it. I'm gonna show you the next move. Here we go. It is a squat to alternating heel lift with a jump squat. It's a little cardio burst, your first one of the day. Are you ready for it? I am gonna go here. Lift, lift, jump squat, got it? You lift up, up, jump squat. All right, here we go. <sighs> lift, lift. Jump, get some air. Lift it up, lift it up, burn out those quads. Woo, good, I want the chest up, core tight. Get some air. Woo. Oh, my quads are burning already. Woo. You're doing great at home, keep it up. I know it hurts, it burns, but you can do anything for just a short amount of time. You got this, right? You can do it if you put your mind to it. Go to that happy place. Whew. Oh yeah, we're almost there. A few more reps. Let's go to 16, come on. Oh, this is 12, you got this, come on. Oh yeah, my booty and my quads are burning and my heart rate's through the roof. You got one more in you? Yes, great job. You might need some water after this one. Catch your breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, back to our weights. We're gonna do a side lunge to a press out. Staying on one side with only one weight. Goes like this, side lunge, press out. Balance if you can. Extra credit for core balancing. Are you ready? Let's go. Side lunge, press out, balance. Ooh yeah, eight each side. Ooh, I tapped down, I cheated a little there. You got me. Three, hold that balance 
for just a second. Good, you're halfway on this side. Good, push through the heel. Woo, we got two more on this side. Then we're gonna rock it on the other side. Last one. Balance, yes, other side. One side might be better balanced than the other. Here we go. Side lunge, press out. Balance. We're going for eight reps. I'm using an eight pound dumbbell. You can use 10, whatever tickles your fancy. All right, Woo. it's hard to balance here by the beach. Got some rocks under my feet. Hopefully, Woo. you're more stable at home. Almost there, two more. Also, one side is usually better at balancing our more dominant side. Whew. Great job, drop that weight, catch your breath, grab some water. I'm sweating already, are you? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. All right, next move is a curtsy lunge to tricep kickback. All right, so you're gonna curtsy lunge on one side, overhead tricep. That's what I meant. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go for eight each side. One, tap it out, good. Get low in that curtsy, bring it up and over. Two, keep the core activated. Good form is key, always slow and controlled. That's my motto. You can do things fast, but you'll end up getting hurt if you don't do it with good form. I'm a stickler for form. Bend that back knee 90 degrees. Keep the elbow tucked by the head. That's six, two more on this side. Seven, good, last one. And eight, Woo. full body really gets you. My heart rate is through the roof. All right, right into the other side, here we go. Curtsy lunge, bring it over, tricep, overhead extension, that's one. Good, keep that elbow tucked right by the head. That's two. Three, I love working full body. Total body workout, so efficient. It's fast and it's hard, but it works and you get it done and you get on with your day, right? That's what I'm about, two more. Good. And last one, good form. Yes, great job on these moves. Drop your weights. Guess what time it is? Time for another cardio burst. I'm gonna show you, catch your breath, grab water if you need it. We're gonna go like this. Tap, tap, jump up. Tap, tap, jump up. You got it? Going for about 16 reps. Here we go. Tap, tap, touch the ground, jump to the sky, get some air. Tap, tap. Reach up, tap, tap, whoo, I want straight arms. Reaching for that sky, sky's the limit, yes. Tap, tap, Whew. tap, tap, reach up, we're almost there. Whoo, is your heart rate through the roof yet? Mine is, get some air, come on. You can do anything. Whew. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm a mom and for all those moms out there, I know it's hard to make time for yourself, but you got this. You don't need much time, just the energy and the motivation to complete it. Reach, yes. Oh, catch your breath. That's a good one. Whew. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Try to keep moving, active recovery even between moves, okay, don't sit down, walk, pace a little, catch your breath, grab water, but stand up, okay? Next move, whew, I'm feeling it, is a front lunge to bent lateral raise. So we're gonna use both weights here. This is going on one side for eight and then the other side, okay? So you front lunge, bent raise, tap back, that's one. That's two, we're going eight each side, come on. Bend 90 degrees, that back leg. 
and I want those elbows nice. Everything's 90 degrees. Whew. Core is activated. Legs are working. Shoulders working. Full body's working. Oh yeah. Two more on this side. Whew. Last one, make it low. Drop it low. Good. Right into the other side. Here we go. Front lunge. Bent lateral raise. Tap back. Can you smile while you're working out? Yes. Let's have fun while we're here, right? I know it's hard. We're going out of our comfort zone today. Yes, we're burning calories and fat. We're doing something nice just for ourselves. This time it's for us. One more. Bend that back knee. Great job. Drop your weights. Catch your breath. Grab some water. Feel free to take water breaks anytime you need it. We have little breaks in between. These are intervals, okay? So we go up with the heart rate and then down with the heart rate. Up and down, up and down. That is the most efficient for calorie burning, right? Okay, let's move on to the next move. I'm talking too much now. All right, we have another cardio burst. Yes, it is four football runs to another jump squat. One of my favorite moves. One, two, three, four, tap. Jump up. Are you ready? We're gonna do 16 reps. I really want you light on the balls or the balls of your feet. Core is activated. Bend, touch down, jump up. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Jump. Reach up. Bend your knees when you go into that jump squat. Good. One, two, three, four. Come on. Shake that booty. One, two, three, four. Woo! One, two, three, four. Almost there. Come on, you can do anything for a short amount of time. Get some air. Are you sweating at home yet? I am. Come on, six more. You can do it. Where's my smiles at? Let's smile while we're working hard. Oh yeah. One more. One, two, three, four, tap. Jump it up. Woo. Catch your breath. Breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. If you need to towel off a little, Now's the time to do it. Take a swig of water, but not too much. So it's not shaking in your stomach with all this jumping. All right, our next move is a single leg deadlift with a reverse fly. Working on core balance. Let's get started. Grab your weights here. Make sure you're on flat ground. We're gonna balance, single leg deadlift. Tap back, balance, hold, reverse fly, squeezing the back. Good, that was one, we're going for eight. Here we go. Two, really lean over, squeeze the back. Three, you've got to bend over when you do that reverse fly. Four, we go slow and control. This isn't about speed, it's about form. Almost there. Six, make sure you hinge at the hip when you do this move. One more on this side, come on. I'm feeling it in my hamstring. Core, rear delts and back. Yes, that was eight. Let's switch to the other side. Get your balance on the other side. Make sure you're on flat ground. Here we go for eight reps. Hinge over, tap back, squeeze the back. So there's only a slight bend in the elbow. Shave the shin, come up, two. Three, four, five, almost there. Slow and controlled with good form. Six, not about speed. Last one. 
Great job at home. Drop your weights. I am feeling that in the back of the leg, my hamstring, whoo, on fire. Love that move. All right, next move, split squat with a tricep kickback, staying on the same leg. All right, so I'll show you from the side. You're gonna squat down like so, got it? So it's a split squat with a tricep kickback. Here we go, three, two, one. Squat down, one. Lean over, two. Really get that arm up, three. Nice high tricep kickback. Pushing through the heel of the front leg, four. Five. Six, come on, two more right here. Ooh, my glutes feeling it, triceps feeling it, and my core is activated because I'm balancing on one side. Nice job, other side. Make sure to switch legs, whatever leg was in front over there, switch, and switch arms. Here we go, split squat down, lean over, tricep kickback, going for eight reps. Compound movements, working glutes, balance, core, and triceps. So upper and lower body combination. Oh yes, I'm feeling it. Really hinge over and keep the elbow near the rib cage when you kick it back up. I want it up high with good form. All right, we're almost there. Couple more. And last one. Oh yes, I felt that in my booty and my triceps. I love these compound movements, don't you at home? Grab some water if you need it. Guess what time it is? Cardio time. All right, we're gonna do a tap, tap with an alternating front kick. So it goes like this. Tap, tap, front kick. Tap, tap, switch legs, other side. You got it? Here we go, in three, we're going 16 reps. Two, one, tap, tap, kick it up high. Tap, tap, switch legs, kick, come on. Get that kickboxing move in there. Boom, yes. Tap it up. Add some air when you tap. Kick. I love to do high kicks. I want those legs up high. Oh yeah. Boom, boom. Tap. Touch the ground with your hand. Don't skimp on this move. These cardio intervals are so important. Boom, boom. Last six more, six. Tap. Tap, whoo, five, four, three. Get those legs up high, you can do it. Two, one, whoo. Is your heart rate through the roof? Mine is, catch your breath. These cardio circuits, these little intervals, this is where the fat burning starts, right? We're doing the strength training, building muscle, and then we're skyrocketing up the heart rate, so you're getting the best bang for your buck with time efficiency, right? Oh yeah. Whew, catch your breath, and let's go to the next move. You see, I'm out of breath. That means we're working hard, right? All right, next move. We're gonna do some glute stuff, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and grab one weight. We're gonna do an abduction with a lateral, or excuse me, a front raise. Okay, here we go. Try to balance on one side. We're doing eight on each side. Try not to set the foot on the ground. Do not swing the weight. Control the weight straight in front of you. Only do about eye level. If you have to tap down, that's okay. I know we're getting a little tired here because we've been working hard. Oh, I'm feeling it right here in that side saddlebag. Eight. Other side, get your balance. Balance, core, abduction, hip, and shoulder raise all combined. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Nice, slow, and controlled. Do not swing the leg or the shoulder. Two more. Ooh, great job. 
All right, let's drop that weight. Time for another cardio burst. All right, we're gonna do squats up and down with punches. So, 16 reps, all right? Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Squat it down with punches. Good, nice and fast. Really punching it out, getting really low in that squat. And I want the arms working the whole time, never stopping. This should get your heart rate up. Come on, keep that core tight and activated. Punch it out. Oh yes, my heart rate is up. Is yours at home? Almost there. Woo! Sometimes I like to scream when I'm in pain because it feels good. Got to release some sound, right? Six, five, pick it up a little faster. Four, three, last, two, last, one. Ooh, this, all this punching and kicking is feeling really good. Get the aggression out, get the tension out, release some endorphins, get strong. You got this. All right, next move. Let's move to some more glute work. Let's go with a staggered leg deadlift, bicep to shoulder press, all right? So put one foot in front of the other. You're gonna have one toe down. This is a staggered leg deadlift. Come here, bicep curl, shoulder press, down. Got it? Whew. I'm so sweaty, my hair is getting matty. That means we're working. Here we go, eight each side. Let's go. Down, push through the heel, glute, bicep curl, shoulder press. That's one rep, we got eight of these. Really pushing through that front heel and balancing using the core. I feel it in my glute, do you at home? I hope so, means you're working. Almost there. We got two more reps on this side, then we switch to the other side. This is seven. My booty is really feeling it even more than my arms. Last one. Nice job, all right. Make sure when you switch sides, you change feet. The other one in front of you. So I had my left in front. Now I'm gonna put the right in front. Here we go, eight on this side. Keep your core tight, balanced. You're on the back of the toe, staggered leg deadlift. One down, bicep, shoulder press up. Make sure your core is always engaged, belly button to spine, back is flat, core is tight. You got three more on this side. Two more. Last one. Yes, great job at home, drop those weights. I love these full body moves, don't you? I mean, oh, I just love getting it all done quickly and efficiently, sweating, look at me. I love it, I hope you're sweating at home too. You better be, these are tough moves. All right, our next move is a little cardio interval burst, I love it. We're gonna do a kettlebell swing with a double pulse. So it's not actually a kettlebell, it's dumbbell swing. So you're gonna dumbbell swing, pulse, pulse. All right, 16 reps, let's go. Swing, get some air, pulse, pulse. Nice deep squat, okay? Swing the hips, pulse. That's two, boom, swing, three, full body move here. Hips, glutes, shoulders, cardio, work. Swing it, thrust those hips forward, pulse through the heels. Doing great at home. Swing, I love swings. You're halfway, you can do it. You're more than halfway through your workout too. How are you feeling? Have those endorphins kicked in yet? I hope so. They have for me. I am sweaty. Whew. 
Almost there, last four. Last three. Last two, really swing it up. And last one, swing, pulse, pulse. Drop those weights, grab some water, towel off, do what you gotta do, catch your breath. Whew, these cardio bursts are getting me today, I'm feeling it. Ah, feels so good. I love a good challenge and I hope you do too. If you're not, if you're, what I'm trying to say is, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you, okay? Remember that. Challenge is good. It's what grows our character, grows our strength, grows our body in fitness and relationships and everything, right? Challenge is a good thing. So don't be afraid of it. All right, let's move on. Enough guru talk right here. Let's move on to the next move. We are going to pick up one weight, all right? We are going to hinge over, twist, twist, reach up, lunge, lunge. You got it? So you hinge, twist, twist. This is working the abs. Here's the lower body and the shoulders. 16 reps, that was two. Three, we're going to 16, all right? Twist, twist, so when you hinge, Really twist the torso. Look at my crazy hair, all right. Twist, twist. Twist, twist. You gotta hinge at the hip when you twist the torso, okay? Working the core, you're working the legs on that reverse lunge and the shoulders. Almost there. This is a tough move. We got a lot of combinations going on here and a lot of reps. Halfway. Hinge over, twist, twist. Your abs should be feeling it. Six more. This move gets me every time. Four more. Really twist that torso and reach straight up at 90 degrees with the knees. Last one, make a good one. Drop that weight. Crazy hair, don't care. Oh yeah, look at this sweat. All right, you are working if you are sweating like me because I am feeling it. Got a couple more glute moves coming up then we're moving on to abs. All right, pick up your weights. We're gonna do deadlift, narrow squat, bicep curl. All right, here we go. 16 reps, deadlift. Narrow squat, bicep curl, nice. Deadlift, shave the shin. Narrow squat, work the glutes. Bicep curl, work the upper body. Compound movements, baby. This is what burns the calories, oh yeah. Push through the heel when you do the squat and the deadlift, okay? Shave the shin, push the butt back, hinge at the hip, then squat, bend, bicep curl. Almost there. You can do anything for about 45 minutes, right? Almost there. Mm. We got six more. This is the end of the workout here coming up. So this is where you push through. Don't let your body tell you it's tired. This is all mental strength right now. 
the mental ability to push through the uncomfortability, right? I know it's uncomfortable, but remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So the challenge is good. Feel a little bit of the pain and work through it. Great job. All right, another move we're gonna do, drop the weights, grab some water for the glutes, is a kick back with a tricep overhead. So you're gonna take one weight, and it's gonna go like this. One, tap, two, okay? We're gonna do eight on each side, switching sides, okay? So bring this up overhead, tight by the head, elbow bent 90 degrees, lifting the back leg, core is tight. One, tap, two, try not to arch the back, three, and keep the elbow tucked really close to the head. Should feel it in the glute. Oh yes, switch sides. Coming to the other side. Elbow tucked in by the head, tapping back. Balancing two, one, using the core, two, three, try to keep that leg straight, four, it might be easier on one side, that's okay. We're usually dominant on one side. Great job. All right, are you ready to move to some abs after your last cardio burst? I am. All right, we are gonna shuffle, shuffle, tap, jump up, 16 reps. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, tap, jump, that's one. Shuffle, shuffle, stay low. Two, if you have more room to go further, side to side, do it. Woo! Stay low in that shuffle. Really work the glutes, the core. Bend, tap, and get some air. Only 16 reps here. Come on. Halfway. Let's go. This is where we push ourselves. We go faster. We jump higher. It's all about energy and intention, right? I'm speaking to myself, too. Got to keep my motivation strong. All right, last one. Woo! Nice job, last cardio burst. You did it. Get some water. We are now moving to some standing abs. Are you ready? You can do these with or without the weights. Your call. I'm gonna use a dumbbell. I like to challenge myself. If you're feeling a little bit fatigued today, that's okay. Go with your body. Your body, your workout, right? All right. Starting with an oblique, one, tap. We're gonna do eight on each side, switching. So you're getting some shoulder work in here too. Working those love handles, those obliques. Oh yeah, balance, core, it's all here. Here we go, three, two, one. One, try to reach the elbow to the knee and balance if you can without tapping the toe. Two, three, four, Really squeeze that side body. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch it up right into the other side. Here we go. Reaching tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. All right, our next ab move. Grab your other dumbbell. We're gonna do side to side. Again, working the obliques. Reaching the elbows up and down, alternating 16 reps. Here we go. Reach to the side of the knee. One, two, get that elbow up high, getting some shoulder action in there too. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, almost there, 10, 11, 12, 
13, come on, push, 14, get lower with it, 15, and 16, nice job. Drop one weight, we're gonna do for a standing abdominal crunch. So you come, reach up here, you reach, make a C shape with the spine, alternating knees, two. Got it, we're gonna do that for 16 reps. Catch your breath for a second. Ab moves with weights, it's a whole nother level when you got that extra resistance, right? And our heart rate's still up because we're still standing. So you should be feeling these. If you need to drop the weight, that's okay. You can do it without just body weight. Here we go, 16 reps, let's go. One, really crunch. Bring the knee as close to the chest. Two, balancing. Three, this is working lower and upper abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway. Arch the back like a cat. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yes. All right, are you ready for your last ab move? This is, has a little bit of legs in there too. It's an isometric squat hold with punches working the torso. So do it with or without weight. You're just holding here, punching. Are you ready? 16 reps, let's go. One, two, three, abs tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway, get lower, nine, come on, low, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, boom. Whoo, how we feeling? We got a couple more moves in us? Oh yeah, let's do it, drop one weight. Here, we're gonna get low again, so we're working some quadriceps too. Isometric squat hold, twisting side to side. Are you ready? 16 reps, nice and fast, core is tight. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, my legs are burning, seven, eight, halfway, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whoo, yes, you did it. That was the final move, congratulations. You made it to the cool down. I am so proud of you. That was tough. Total body workout, strength training, weights, cardio bursts, upper and lower body compound moves. We did it all in a short amount of time. We are efficient, we are quick, we like a good challenge. All right, let's cool it down a little bit. Let's march in place. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, blow out any negative emotions, feelings, any worry, any tension in the body. Now inhale. Exhale. Good, reach up again. Inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Inhale. Exhale. Now reach it all the way over. These are static stretches, which means you hold the stretch. You do these for the cool down. Breathing, never holding the breath. Get a little lower and deeper into it. Close the eyes. I like to go into my happy place. Inhale, come up, slowly reach over. Touch that shin on the side. Reach up, long fingertips, feel a nice stretch in the side body, and breathe. Expand the rib cage. Good, come on up. Now we're gonna come into our side lunge, but we're gonna just hold here and get a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Make sure the knee is in line with the toe, 90 degrees. Hold here. Breathe, never holding the breath. One more. Other side. Whew, that's a nice deep stretch there. Good. Make sure everything, the toes facing forward, knees over toe, always good form even on the cool down. We don't want to get sloppy at the end, right? Come 
back up to center. We're gonna inhale, come down, reach. Stretching out the back of the leg, the hamstrings. And hold here. Keep a flat back. Breathe out. Now I want you to grab opposite elbow and rock right to left, releasing the lower back. Good. Let the hands release. Slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Eight, seven, six. Slowly, slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. You don't want to get dizzy. We're gonna reach that arm over, stretching out the shoulder. How are you feeling at home? Whew, I feel invigorated. I feel alive. Those endorphins really got going. Good, switch. Open the chest, other side. I hope you feel proud of yourself today. You did it. You showed up for yourself. You did something for yourself, for your physical, mental, spiritual health. That is awesome. You should be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good, let's go back to the other arm. Stretch out the tricep. Keep the elbow by the head. Good, release, switch. Good, couple more stretches, we're almost done. Bring one leg in front of the other, hinge at the hip. Come down and reach for the toe. Getting a nice, good stretch in the back of the leg. Flat back, core is still tight and activated. Good, come up, switch to the other side. Flex the foot, hinge at the hip, balance. Reach for the toe, push the glutes back. up to center, bring the knees in, put your hands on your thigh. We're gonna do some cat-cow, I'll show you from the side. Cat, arch it up like a cat. Cow, look to the sky. Arch it up, suck the belly button in. Reach to the sky, nice light touch on the thighs, not on the knees, never pressure on the knees. Last three. And two. Great job today. I am so proud of you. You did awesome. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me at Jimra's Total Body Workout.